Now we can specify a name for our project, like temporary project or whatever we want. And the system of units, either gonna be metric or British. I'm using British for this example. And the printout of report a summary or detailed let's keep it for detailed for now and pretty much these are the things that you want to specify you can also type a description for your project here project type project name and so on and so forth. This is going to show up on most of the reports that you, you're going to generate. And now we want to do the calculation based on the measurements that we entered and uh, the system of units that we chose. The calculation in CDEGS, most of the modules, has a symbol similar to this. There's a circle with different colors. So if you hit run or compute, it's gonna give you a little warning that uh, because I've done this before and it's gonna overwrite it. I'm, I'm saying yes and it brings another uh, page the work is not yet saved please select yes to save and again it says that the following file exists and will be destroyed which I'm gonna hit yes because I've already done it and I wanna do it again so it's reading input data and this is gonna take a little uh, not that much because soil is usually resap is usually fast resap run completed okay and now it's loading the output session remember the previous page was output input I'm sorry and this page is output session so uh, you can see there are a few differences here if you hit this button here it's gonna be your input session again so you can go back to input session and this icon uh, brings you to the main page of CDEX so these two will be your important icons and now we want to basically plot, give a plot title like soil model for temp project. to choose this automatic x-axis and British unit type of scale logarithmic x and y we usually do this for uh, printing plotting the soil data and everything is gonna be uh, like the setting for now you can change it based on your requirements obviously then I'm gonna hit plot and it brings me this graph here so if you see the CDEX uses 
automatically I guess two layers with uh, air it's gonna be three layer one two and it shows you the resistivity of each layer and the thickness of uh, each layer also a nice graph here uh, that shows you soil model and the computed result curve two of them and yeah these are this is the title that you chose and x-axis and y-axis which are logarithmic and uh, spacing is per feet and parent resistivity ohm meters so I'm gonna close this and go back to input session loading the input session okay now if you click on soil type we can see different soil types here and you can choose the number of soil layer which if you put on automatically usually it uses two layers so bottom central top air whatever you can choose it uh, you can increase or decrease from here 